Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a horror thriller film, The Midnight Man. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins in 1953 with a naughty little girl, playing the legendary summoning ritual, called The Midnight Man, with her little brother and their friend. They are in the attic with only the moonlight as their light. The kids frantically light a candle, as they count down from 10. They manage to light it, but the midnight man comes, and begins his evilness. The friend accidentally gets out from the circle of salt, so the siblings quickly instruct her to return. The friend crawls back, when the midnight man's hand emerges from the dark, and drags her. The siblings promptly fix the circle. But then, the friend's screams stop. Shortly after, the midnight man comes out from the darkness, holding the friend's head in his hands, with her blood staining the floor. 3.33 AM arrives, meaning that the siblings have won the game but they immediately hide downstairs, upon seeing the friend's head. However, they cannot stay in the house, as the midnight man will find them. So the brother runs outside, but the naughty girl stays inside as a rule, indicating they cannot go out, until the game is over. The naughty girl tries to convince her brother to return to the house, but he does not listen. She can only scream and watch in horror, as the midnight man appears behind her brother, and crashes him into onion pieces, leaving her the sole survivor. Fast forward to the present day, the naughty girl now grows up to be an old grandma, and moves into the family house with her granddaughter, Alex. The grandma is widowed, and suffering from dementia. After putting her to bed, Alex calls her guy best friend, Miles, and tells him that she will leave the door open for him when he arrives. Alex ends the call, as she hears her grandma's voice on the intercom. Before returning to her room, Alex opens the door lock, and finds her grandma still wide awake, and sitting on the bed. Alex informs her that Miles is coming later, and the grandma smiles as she seems to like him. Out of the blue, the grandma instructs Alex to get her silver hand mirror from grandpa's travel chest in the attic. Alex obliges, but she has to go to the inside garden to get to the attic. Alex pours the accumulated dripping water from the tubes into the bucket, before going to the attic, which has become the storage room. There are various things upstairs. But the creepy mannequin is the one that gives Alex the most creeps. She puts the white clothing on the mannequin, before searching for the travel chest. She quickly finds it, so she opens it, and removes the stuff. She comes across different things like a pistol, bullets, and knives, but the strange sealed old box catches her attention the most. Alex finally finds the vanity mirror, when Miles suddenly comes up behind, and scares the shit out of her. Miles just laughs, before telling her that he saw the lights on when he drove up. Alex shows Miles the strange things she found, and the two of them open the box. They find a salt shaker, candles, a pencil, and a list of names with a blood drop next to each one. They also find photographs of the younger grandma and her friends, with their fears written on their backs. The grandma suddenly appears, and yells frighteningly at them, you open the game, before fainting on the floor. Alex calls their family doctor, nicknamed Dr. Mustache. Soon after, Dr. Mustache shows up with his dying mustache and his assistant. Alex informs them that her grandma fainted in the attic, which seems to surprise Dr. Mustache. The trio leaves the assistant, as Dr. Mustache's request to have private conservation with them. Downstairs, Dr. Mustache weirdly advises them to keep the grandma in her bed, and lock her bedroom. After injecting her, the assistant goes downstairs, and he and Dr. Mustache leave the house. The two talk about the family's history of tragedies, as they walk away. They are confused and curious about the grandma's reaction. Then the two return to the attic. Inside the box, they find a sewing needle, and the torn rules for the midnight game. The rules indicate that they must follow specific steps, to call the midnight man in the house. They must write their names on a piece of paper, and place a single blood drop next to their names. Then, light a candle for each player, before turning off all the lights, and attach the paper on the front door made of wood. Before the clock hits midnight, they must knock 22 times on the door. After that, they should go outside, blow the candle, return inside, and relight it. The two do all that is instructed by the rules, now that they have summoned the Midnight Man, they must avoid him at all cost, until 3.33 AM. The two return to the attic to look for the rest of the rules, but Alex leaves shortly after to check on her grandma. Miles goes through every stuff, until he finds the rest of the rules. It indicates they must never fall asleep, or stay in the same place during the game. If they do, they fail and the Midnight Man will take them. What's more, if their candles blow out, they must relight them within 10 seconds. If the candles do not relight, they should surround themselves with a circle of salt for protection, until they relight the candles. If any of the rules get broken, the Midnight Man will manifest in their worst nightmares. On the other hand, Alex checks on her grandma, but cannot find her in the bedroom, or in her bathroom. 
As Alex stays in the bathroom, the grandma appears, blows Alex's candle placed on the mantle, and counts from 1 to 10. Alex does not know the rest of the rules, and it's too late, as the midnight man shows himself to her. He shows her a vision of her fear, drowning in the bathtub filled with blood. The grandma lies on her bed, listening to Alex's screams of fear. Alex nearly drowns in the vision. But fortunately, Miles arrives, and wakes her up from the nightmare. Miles immediately creates a circle of salt around Alex, and shares that he found the rest of the rules. So Miles takes Alex's candle, and relights it before leaving the grandma's room. They go downstairs, where Miles shares that he intentionally broke one of the rules, to see what will happen. He did not relight his candle within 10 seconds, and did not pour a circle of salt around him. Suddenly, the Midnight Man shows himself, and exploits Miles' fear of pain, by letting him see a vision of tearing his head apart. However, they are interrupted, when the Midnight Man hears the grandma's voice on the intercom. After sharing that, the two take another salt shaker to have one for themselves. Shortly after, their friend Kelly arrives, as she was invited by Miles a while ago. She notices the strange aura from the two, so they explain to her what is happening. Kelly is into gothic stuff, so she has more familiarity with the game than the two. While they are talking, they suddenly feel the temperature drop, and their candles blow out. The two immediately relight their candle, while Kelly informs them that their candle will blow out, when the Midnight Man is near. Despite their disapproval, Kelly still joins the game, as it is the only way for her to help them. After that, they go to the inside garden, where Alex shares that her mother hanged herself in the house. She was a child back then, but she remembers clearly how her grandma was expressionless with her mother's death, but instead just looked herself into the hand mirror. Alex suspects that her grandma intentionally sent her to the attic, tricking her into starting the game, just like she did with her own daughter. Alex's mother possibly found the game and lost, and the grandma knew all along. Alex takes the mirror from Miles, and tries to figure out its secret, when she suddenly sees Midnight Man's reflection standing in the corner. She immediately informs them about it, but they cannot see him. The temperature drops again, blowing their candles out. They quickly relight their candle. But Kelly's candle blows out again, because of the dripping water. Miles attempts to relight it again, but the wick is wet. So they rush to pour a circle of salt around Kelly, before leaving her to find another candle. They remind her to stay in the circle, until they get back. Before going to the dining room, Alex confesses her feelings to Miles, and kisses him for a long time. Without further ado, they search for the candles for their shitty friend. But they mysteriously disappear from the cabinets. As they prepare to return to Kelly, Dr. Mustache reveals himself and his dying mustache, and tells the two about the whole truth. He informs them they cannot look for another candle, as the game does not work that way. Also, it's too late for them to help their shitty friend, despite her being in grave danger. Finally, Dr. Mustache shares that he was in the attic during the play in 1953. But he was not playing, he was hiding. The grandma invited him over, but she did not let him play, because he was the youngest, and looked the most innocent as a virgin. The grandma was the only survivor after that play, but somehow, she got trapped in the game. Without clear reasons, she repeatedly played the game despite the consequences. He claims that the Midnight Man is the supernational executioner, and the grandma has been supplying him with players, but he does not know why. Dr. Mustache warns them that the Midnight Man is ruthless. He does not care and will kill them, even if the players are children. He also bends the rules in his favor, or in short, he even cheats as he is a sore loser. Therefore, they must destroy the evil game. On the other side, Kelly bravely faces the Midnight Man, and tells him that he cannot harm her, as she is inside the circle of salt. But he emerges from the dark corner, and pierces the water bucket, creating a hole. The water crawls on the floor, but Kelly quickly puts soil around her, absorbing the water. The Midnight Man is impressed by Kelly's cleverness, but he quickly pours the whole bucket, washing off her circle of salt. Now the Midnight Man can see Kelly's fear, as she has no protection anymore. Her biggest fear is the bunny she killed when she was a child, by slitting its throat. He shows her terrifying visions of her slaughtering the innocent bunny. Suffering from that fear, Kelly eventually kills herself by slitting her own throat. Meanwhile, Dr. Mustache suggests they go to the attic, but the two insist they return to Kelly. However, when they arrive at the inside garden, they find her dead and cold body on the floor, bathing with her own blood. As their time is running out, the trio goes to the attic. Alex goes through the pictures, and finds her mother's photo, with her fear of heights written on the back. This proves the grandma intentionally supplied her own daughter to the Midnight Man. Meanwhile, Miles creates a circle of salt as instructed by Dr. Mustache. Suddenly, the grandma appears in the attic, and Dr. Mustache begs her to stop her insanity. 
Dr. Mustache informs the two that the grandma has become the Midnight Man's conduit, ever since she survived playing the damned game. Right then the candles blow out as the Midnight Man is near. So they attempt to relight, but only one match is left. The two are worried about Dr. Mustache, but he reassures them that he cannot be harmed, as he's not part of the game, and he's always as innocent as a virgin. However, his assumption is wrong, as the Midnight Man manipulates the grandma to kill him. She repeatedly punches his dying mustache and chokes him, not stopping even though he is bathing in his own virgin blood, contaminated with diabetes. In anger, Alex shoots her evil grandma, getting her attention, before shooting her right in the head. The Midnight Man then faces them. But the two hear the clock hit 3.30 am. Knowing they only have three minutes left, the two taunt the Midnight Man while remaining within the circle. The Midnight Man gets pissed off, but silently leaves them, dragging the grandma's body as he disappears in the dark. The two wait for 4 o'clock just to be sure, and Miles leaves the circle, and goes to the doctor's body, while Alex remains in the circle, preparing to destroy the game for good. However, Miles sees it's only 3.30 on the doctor's watch, revealing that the Midnight Man cheated. It turns out, he reset the house's clock to deceive them. Suddenly, the Midnight Man reappears, and pierces his fist into Miles' head, ending his hormone life. After that, he goes in good mood to Alex, who's already his dead meat, and deserves to die in the way she fears most. The film ends with a house estate sale, where a kid finds the game. He asks for his father's permission to get the game, and the father is unaware of the house and the game's history. So he lets his kid leave with the game, bringing another nightmare cycle to their lives. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.